Envision a language that transcends words and touches our souls. A language that unites all living creatures on our globe. What if I informed you about it? In today's video, we'll delve into the intriguing idea of energy as God's language and how it may shed light on our place in the cosmos. If you make it to the very end, you will have learned the secret principle that controls our life and how to apply it to bring your wildest dreams into reality. You will also have discovered the hidden power that drives our existence. Every aspect of the cosmos is subject to the law of energy. Everything in the universe is interconnected by this holy code that lays beneath everything. It is impossible to generate or deplete energy according to this rule. Only by changing its shape can it be used. Scientists have understood and researched this idea for years. It's called the rule of conservation of energy. Energy cannot be either generated or destroyed. As Albert Einstein famously stated, only by transforming it from one form can it be altered. A fundamental principle of contemporary physics is the law of energy conservation. Energy is not generated nor destroyed, but rather converted from one form to another. This is the basic premise upon which it is built. From the most minute subatomic particles to the cosmos as a whole, this rule applies. According to the principle of conservation of energy, the overall energy content of a closed system does not change over time. Since all energy has a finite amount, this rule holds true across the cosmos. The physical universe and the human mind and emotions both contain energy in their own unique ways. People, however, frequently act in defiance of this basic concept and plunder natural resources without thinking about the repercussions. Energy is never wasted, though. The only change is a transfer or transformation. Every person has the power to decide how they want to transmit energy. We also have a limited amount of mental and emotional energy, which we waste frequently without appreciating it for what it is. The catastrophic gravitational collapse that occurs when a star runs out of nuclear fuel causes it to generate a singularity that is both intense enough to distort space-time and infinitesimally tiny. The singularity's enormous gravitational attraction causes time to grind to a crawl and its effects are felt much beyond its close proximity, despite the object's little size. Any celestial body inside the collapse's sphere of influence will likewise experience a loss of cosmic grace. Thermonuclear fusion produces the energy that allows a star to shine. But when the inner gravitational pull is greater than the outward force, the star will collapse. Hence, a star can't shine without a careful equilibrium of these two forces. In the same way, we need to be careful not to let too much of our energy go to one person or too many at once. For the wrong reasons, it's easy to let our fire go out and give our little energy to those who don't deserve it. We need to be careful with our energy use and concentrate on what truly matters to us, what brings us joy. There are far-reaching consequences of this statute. What this implies is that the energy we put into our bodies, our words, and our thoughts influences the environment around us. It signifies that our energies have an impact on the cosmos and on the world we live in, since we are all linked. A person's words have the power to influence both their subconscious and the collective unconscious, allowing them to bring their wishes and intentions into physical form. Words have the capacity to vibrate in a way that aligns with the energy of our aspirations. We transmit a strong energy signal to the cosmos whenever we utter words that are congruent with our aspirations. Words had a special meaning for ancient cultures because of their association with the divine. Words had a special place in the lives of many ancient faiths, both as instruments of prayer and as instruments of manifestation. Say what you want. The ancient Egyptians thought words could make things happen. For them, the very act of speaking was enough to construct the cosmos. Be careful what you think, for thoughts become words, said the wise Lao Tzu. What you say has the power to shape your behavior. Things you do become routines if you're not careful. Keep an eye on your routines. They shape who you are. Be mindful of your character. 
since it dictates your fate. Join me in embracing the divine code and intentionally molding our fate with the force of our words and energies. It is intriguing to consider the connection between energy and language. The energy we exude is a direct result of the ideas, beliefs, and emotions shaped by the words we choose to use. Aligning our energy with the higher frequencies of the cosmos is achieved when we utter words of love, appreciation, and optimism. As an opposite, we attract lower vibrations into our energy when we say words of fear, uncertainty, and negativity. Both our own reality and the world at large are influenced by the energy that we project via our words. We have the power to influence the cosmos via the power of our words, much like a pebble in a pond. Everything that enters our life, from people to circumstances to experiences, may be influenced by these waves. To tap into the power of words for manifestation, one must comprehend the law of energy and how it relates to language. We may establish a strong vibrational match between our aims and the energy of the universe by intentionally picking our words and making sure they connect with our aspirations. Energy, in its most basic form, is the divine blueprint that orchestrates the orchestration of all creation and our investigation aims to shed light on that thought. When we learn to tap into this energy that permeates everything, we take the first step toward realizing our wildest dreams. There is an unseen plan, an energy blueprint at the center of the cosmos that directs the creation and development of everything. Ancient teachings, including those of Heraclitus, who said, the soul is dyed the color of its thoughts, provide the basis for this view. In this view, ideas serve as the paintbrushes and the field of potential energy as the backdrop for the grandiose picture that is reality. The realization that energy is the blueprint from on high compels us to delve into the deep idea that all parts of creation are linked by an energetic thread. This boundless energy is the unseen language of life. It is present in everything and communicates with everything else. If you want to connect with the universe's bedrock, you have to tap into this energy. Exploring the idea of the divine blueprint leads us to the realization that connecting with the energy of the universe is the key to making our wildest dreams a reality. The Taoist concept of Wu Wei, for example, states that living in harmony with nature allows one to effortlessly accomplish their mission. This is in line with the teachings of many spiritual traditions. When our intentions are in harmony with the energy of the universe, we are moving closer to the divine plan. A person's intentions act as a map, leading the energy flow in the direction of their aspirations. Taking a cue from the ancient Chinese philosopher Confucius, one must have a will to win, desire to succeed, and urge to reach one's full potential in order to achieve greatness. We experience the ever-changing interaction of cosmic energy as we align with the divine plan. This is in line with the teachings of the Upanishads, a sacred text in Hinduism, which state, you are what your deepest desire is. Your will is directly proportional to your goal. Your deed is an expression of your will. Affirmations are one tool for tapping into the power of the law of energy. The goal of using affirmations is to bring about the life we envision for ourselves. Every day, we have the power to reprogram our subconscious mind and bring our energy into harmony with our aims by repeating affirmations. Affirmations are powerful words with the power to alter the very essence of our lives. Simply said, affirmations are positive phrases that, when repeated often, may change one's way of thinking and, by extension, their energy. As the old adage goes, as a man thinketh, so is he. This idea that one's ideas determine one's reality is at the heart of their transformational power. Think about affirmations as tools to help you reorganize your energy patterns. A change in the vibrational frequencies released occurs as a result of the resonant impact of affirmative utterances on one's awareness. The close relationship between concentration, cognition, and the materialization of energy is highlighted by this, which is in line with the theory 
that energy flows where attention goes. A subtle touch, like that of an artist shaping clay, is required to craft affirmations that truly connect with desired manifestations. Affirmations are more effective when they are well-crafted in terms of word choice, emotional tone, and detail. Here we may see an application of the timeless knowledge contained in the Taoist concept of yin and yang. The most effective way to write affirmations is with a sense of balance and harmony. Integrating affirmations effectively requires consistency and repetition. Affirmations, when repeated often, create a positive feedback loop in the mind that strengthens the desired energy patterns. This is similar to what Aristotle said, repetition makes us who we are. Therefore, being excellent is more of a habit than an act. One more potent method of using the law of energy is visualization. One way to manifest what we want in life is to make a powerful energetic imprint of it by thinking about it in detail and experiencing the feelings connected with it. No one ceremony or practice is exempt from the rule of energy. Instead, it's a way of thinking that we can incorporate into our regular routines. Being fully present in the here and now, aware of our words, deeds and thoughts, is essential for this. We may create an optimistic, energizing environment that supports the achievement of our objectives by regularly choosing words that inspire and empower. We can enhance our lifestyles and make better use of energy if we adopt this strategy. When we practice mindfulness, we bring the connection into every aspect of our life, not only during meditation sessions. The present moment is brimming with limitless riches, as the great theologian and philosopher Thomas Merton eloquently pondered, assuming you pause to observe them. The practice of mindfulness encourages us to fill every moment with awareness, finding the divine essence in every encounter. Expressing thankfulness and appreciation also strengthens our bond with the spiritual force. In order to glimpse the light, we must concentrate in our darkest hours, as the great philosopher Aristotle said. Being grateful changes our energy vibration to one of abundance, which in turn brings more of the things for which we are thankful. One must acknowledge the presence of a divine energy source before they may understand God's language. Opening one's eyes to the wonders of existence is the motto of the ancient Chinese philosopher Lao Tzu. This awe-inspiring realization is the divine energy that links all of creation and flows through every atom. I am the origin of the material and spiritual realms, says the famed Hindu text Bhagavad Gita, echoing this idea. I am the source of everything. This deep realization highlights the point that being in touch with the source is critical to discovering the keys to manifestation. Meditation, an age-old discipline followed by many faiths, provides a deep channel for communication with the divine. According to the Yoga Sutras, written by the ancient Indian scholar Patanjali, meditation takes place when mental chatter stops and concentration sets in. Meditating brings about mental stillness, which in turn allows us to attune to the energy that permeates the universe. What you think about, you end up being, which is in line with the teachings of the Buddha. A mind tuned to the frequency of the divine may be cultivated via meditation, paving the way for potent manifestations. An important connection between human emotions and the vibrational frequencies they release becomes apparent when one investigates energetic manifestation. We explore the complex link between our emotional states and our ability to materialize our desires based on the concept that emotions are dynamic, energetic fingerprints. Taking into account the profound insight contained in Albert Einstein's claim that all things are energy, we view emotions as resonant frequencies within the larger energetic spectrum. Emotions, like individual notes in a symphony, add their own special vibration to the complex tapestry of an individual's energy field. A person's emotional frequencies have a profound impact on the quality of their manifestations, since energy is the primary component in the process. Looking at manifestation through the lens of a dance, with emotions serving as the choreography that dictates the fluidity and grace of the steps, a parallel metaphor emerges within the cosmic arena. There is a strong correlation between one's emotional state and the manifestation process. When we feel down, we may draw in negative energy frequencies, whereas when we're happy, 
we might bring in positive energies that complement and enhance our feelings. The law of attraction, which asserts that opposite energies are attracted to one another, is consistent with this notion. Emotions impact one's reality on several levels through a domino effect. People may harmonize their resonance with the cosmos by sending out positive emotional vibrations, which form a positive feedback loop. A thorough familiarity with emotional intelligence and strategic involvement is necessary to elevate one's emotional condition. In our quest for knowledge and advancement, it is crucial to be cognizant of false beliefs and assumptions that could limit our development. The idea that positive thought and wishful thinking are the only components of manifestation is one example of a misconception. Though optimistic thought is critical, it is not enough to only believe in the power of manifestation. Aligned behavior and faith are also necessary components of the manifestation process. Another prevalent misconception is that the mystical and esoteric domain is the only place where energy and manifestation can be found. The fact, though, is that energy law is a global force that works apart from our ideas and comprehension. We may increase our self-awareness and our ability to intentionally co-create our world by accepting this fact. Because of this realization, we are more equipped to live abundant lives and bring our heartfelt wishes into fruition, to bring our dreams into reality and build a prosperous life for ourselves, we must follow the divine rule known as the law of energy. We may access the boundless power that permeates all things by becoming familiar with and conforming to this rule of universal attraction. We co-create our reality with the power of the global mind through direct communication, through thought and language. We may harmonize with the divine and accelerate our spiritual development by connecting with God's energy, which is undeniably his language. I appreciate you reading all the way to the verdict. It is my sincere wish that this movie provided you with useful information and new perspectives. Here at The Power of You, we really value your support, so please share your thoughts in the comments. Plus, if you like the video, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel to make sure you don't miss a thing when they publish more content. Much obliged. Good luck today.